Okay, today I got uh, a dust shoe from Kent CNC, and um, I think I like it pretty good. Um, the uh, dust shoe I got, um, I ordered the 69 millimeter version, and what that does is it there's a um, a black protrusion from the bottom of this uh, uh, router not not the 80 millimeter part but there's actually a, a 68 and a half my calipers measured diameter uh, protrusion on the bottom of this thing and it slides right up on there very easily and all you have to do is tighten it with an allen wrench um, now you don't want to you don't want to tighten this too tight um, because I've heard that uh, you can end up developing a crack in the um, acrylic here. All I did was tighten it up enough so that with a reasonable amount of force it wouldn't rotate on the spindle. So I think that's pretty good. Um, pretty much the reason why I bought this thing was because it would enable uh, easy bit changes um, without uh, having to have a tool changer. Um, it's kind of the next best thing. Uh, it's got um, three magnets on this lower piece that holds the shroud and um, those magnets correspond to drilled holes and more magnets in the top so it holds on and uh, locates firmly. Um, the other thing I like about this is it's actually got um, two bristle brushes. Let me see if I can bring this into better light. I've got to get more fluorescent lights hung in my garage yet, but um, there you go. Find the right angle, and yeah, you can see on the inside there, it's got a, a rim of pretty stiff bristles, and that's supposed to help from keeping these really long flexible bristles from collapsing in too far. Um, I'll have to wait and see how that does when I get my uh, dust collector on and running and hooked up and everything. Um, as you can see that it only extends part way around the inside diameter right next to the dust port um, and the other one goes all the way around um, without any issues but uh, yeah I mean it comes off easily with one hand and you know it kind of self locates if I put it on the right way um, and it just stays there it's pretty nice one hand on one hand off uh, or one hand off, one hand on. So, and then it's got a um, a uh, dust collector port that has um, uh, these spiral grooves that match up to the uh, dust collector spiral grooves for flexible hose on it, and um, should work all right. The only thing that I thought was kind of a uh, design flaw at first was um, how close this uh, set of brushes was. If it if you get it down if you get this thing down to the point where you you know you've got a short bit in there, uh, these bristles are definitely going to hit the bit and like cut off. And at first I was like, man, that's a really kind of dumb way to do that. But then I thought, hey, actually that may not be so bad because what that's going to do is open up more air um, on this side and uh, allow it to um, the dust collector to suck the all the air past there and up into the to the chute so I think that may it may do alright um, I haven't heard people complain about that yet so um, I think it'll be okay um, the other thing that I did was uh, I cut this off and cut this bulkhead connector I'm um, not cut it I cut removed the bulkhead connector um, and I'm letting it sit free um, I noticed that when I would put this thing all the way down that with having the, the cable come out here there was a pretty significant bend in this portion of the uh, cable connection assembly that I made and I don't really want to have that. I don't want these solder connections to come loose. So uh, what I did instead is pop the, the cable through and um, I'm going to let this thing uh, free float and I've tied it off with a zip tie so that this connect both of these connectors see very little force when the thing moves up and down I can move that up and down for you real quick
So there's the fully down position. You can see it's still relatively straight. And when I bring that up, that's pretty well full up. It's still pretty straight. So I think that's probably going to be a safer, better, longer lasting solution. Um, so anyway, I don't think it'll be a problem, but I just wanted to make sure. So um, that's about it for today right now. Thanks. Bye.